I want to bring something up. Uh, mm-hmm. I, after watching Z and watching um, Stillborn, I noticed there's a, like a like a recurring motif in your films where it's like the psychology of like a mother between her child. Right. Why? I, why? Why is it? Why is that? I think it's just because I. That's kind of all I know right now. It's, uh-huh. I've you know I. I what my I, I live in a, a house with a family with kids and I see kids doing creepy stuff <laughs> and so I hate I mean, kids I, when I, they do creepy I, shit. I'm just drawing on what I'm seeing every day and I yeah. see my wife dealing with all this stuff and my oh, wife okay. is scared of a ton of things so it's just taking that I'm I'm just I'm basically watching these characters play out with her fears so it's it's pretty easy to come up with scary stuff when you've my, got it right in front of you. My my niece did something a long time ago that creeped me out. She just stared at the corner. Yeah, she was like. Like ten years old, man. Oh no, mm-hmm. she was like eight or eight or nine. Mm-hmm. She was a little little kid, right? A little skinny mm-hmm. little kid. I'm look, she's looking at the corner. Yeah, yeah. That's and I'm what, like, what's terrifying. going on? When I'm kids or animals do that shit, especially with my dog, I'm by myself in the house, and she just gets up and barks mm-hmm. in the dark ass hallway, and yeah. I'm like, why, why the fuck would you do that? Yeah, it's <laughs> I, terrifying. I get so bad. I'm like, I close the door. I'm like, <laughs> play music. I'm like, I'm like God damn it. Right. When I watched the snowboard, I jumped and I was like, fuck. I got mad. I was like, I hate when I get when I get caught off guard. There was a couple of there was uh, there was one spot in uh in Z that had the me, banister. Yeah, yeah. Don't tell me. I need to watch okay, it. Okay. I was I was in Mesquite doing this commercial, so I'm like, I didn't have to. I was so tired. I was right. like, and I had no internet. Okay. Well, I didn't spoil anything. People. But it's that's the one. It's it turned out really. I mean, Stillborn has the the video monitor one, and yeah. that one when we, when we did our world premiere at Overlook. Uh, I was in the, you know, sitting in the crowd. It was the first time I ever watched it with a crowd, and I was just sitting there, and you know, everybody's kind of quiet, and that happens around the 12-minute mark, and it was just like audible gasps when it happened because it's such a quiet movie up to that point, and all of a sudden, just like out of nowhere, you have this giant scare, and everyone's just like, there's like screaming in the audience, and these are all horror buffs, That's and so yeah. they're just like, you know, you're just like, okay, we got them, we're fine, you know, and and it was smooth from there, but uh, Z's got the same thing with yeah. that with that particular one. It's like, but that one's a bit, it's like 25 minutes in, but even. Now now I, I don't sit and watch it in the festivals. I'll I'll leave, but I'll be like, oh, it's 24 minutes. I got to come back and I'll film the reaction yeah. because it's always hilarious. Now you mentioned Overlook, uh-huh. the Overlook Hotel. That's where they shot The Shining, right? Yeah. So the uh, the Overlook uh, is a fictional hotel from The Shining. Oh, it's not. It's not a real hotel. No. Like it's not operational during the year. No, it's not. I mean, the the, the actual hotel is called the Timberline Lodge. It's in oh. it's in Oregon. Um, but that's where St- Stanley Kubrick shot the exteriors for The Shining, and oh, then okay. um, the Stanley, which is a place in uh, Colorado, that's where Stephen King was inspired to write The Shining, and that's where the TV series version of uh, The Shining takes place. Okay. Um, so yeah, this festival they 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 did their first year, their inaugural year of this uh, this festival up at the Timberline Lodge, you know, up on Mount Hood in Oregon, and it was just. Uh, you know, you're you're kind of stranded up there. The snow was going up to the windows, just like when Danny and you know he climbs out of the window yeah, and shining yeah. and he rolls. It was just like that. That's crazy. That's um, the inside of it's totally different, but they themed the whole festival around around that film, and it was really cool. They have little girls walking around. Yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> I mean, the, well, bicycle. <laughs> they had a ton of just like you know like role playing games. Like they had a serial like you could sign up and get like Amber alerts for a serial killer and stuff. And so they'd have like these action role, like live action role playing yeah. oh, things. That's so dope. Wow. It was pretty cool. And so they, yeah, they did this first year there and it was just like a ton of media and just like super horror fans and stuff like that. It was, it was so awesome. You were just kind of stranded up there cause there was nothing, mm-hmm. you know, you couldn't go anywhere. It was just you and the mountain and the hotel. And mm-hmm. so you were just watching films and just hanging out and partying and stuff like that. It was really cool. And then they moved to New Orleans and it just doesn't, never recaptured the same thing because it's uh, spread out in a very touristy area where there's just too much to do. Yeah. So it's just not the same. 